I want to say hi to everybody who knows Tinker Garden and everybody who's joining us for the first time. So just last week we launched Tinker Garden at Home and we focused all of our play on playing with what? Do you remember? Nada Boxes. Nada Boxes. That's right. And it was the highlight of our week last week to watch all that joyful play come onto our After Zelf or Facebook group and to play with our boxes and make our clubhouse and all the things Nada we did. Nada Boxes. Our Nada Boxes. That's right. <laughs> but adults, what we've been feeling and hearing that everybody's finding this week too for a lot of us is particularly hard. So we're extra glad that you're here extra glad that you're watching and extra glad that we can have another week of creative play using this time what's our special material sheets. Not our sheet. not a sheets so my explorers we're going to wake up our senses and warm them up and guides if you need to go adults and get some sheets or not a sheets or pillowcases it's a great time to do it but are you guys ready to do our rhyme yeah at tinker garden we design our program with seven senses in mind and we know that when kids warm up their senses before play their brain and their body are really ready to learn. So we're going to do our warming up our senses rhyme. And you can now find it on our blog if you want to be able to do this at home or follow along. But just follow me. I'll say each line and I'll do a movement and you can do it right after. Okay? So you guys, I'll say it and you guys do it right after just like all the kids on the watching. Okay? Sound good? Okay. Ready? Warming up our senses. Open our eyes to look around. Open, Open our, our eyes to look around. around. Tune in our ears to hear some sounds. Tune in our ears to hear some sounds. Open our noses to smell the spring. Open our noses to smell the spring. Warm up our hands and feel everything. Warm up our hands and feel everything. Spin in circles, bending down. Spin in circles, bending down. Move our muscles, jump around. Jump around. Open our mouths to take, take a, taste. a taste. Open our mouths to take a taste. But only when tasting safe. But only when tasting safe. Wonderful. So we have all those seven senses all warmed up and ready to go. And the other thing we love to do at the beginning of every Tinker Garden experience is to sing our what? Tinker Come song. to Tinker Garden song. That's right. And last week we promised we would do Bullfrog. And so we're going to start with Bullfrog. And if you don't know the Come to Tinker Garden song, you can sing along or you can just do the movements or you can watch and learn later because adults, kids often watch a lot, take it all in and perform later. So it's just fine to watch or you can do the movements or you can sing. So for Bullfrog, I want to spread out a little bit our Bullfrogs. Bullfrog, we get down because we start out sleepy and it's Bullfrog, Bullfrog, waking up Stretch your legs and hop, hop, hop. Bullfrog, bullfrog, waking up, come to Tinker Garden. Should we try it? Ready? Okay, get your sleeping bullfrogs and we'll start. Bullfrog, bullfrog, waking up. Stretch your legs and hop, hop, hop. Bullfrog, bullfrog, waking up, come to Tinker Garden. All right. Great bullfrogs out there, everybody. That was wonderful. Now, guess what? Cheetah. Oh, that's right. We already asked a whole bunch of Tinker Garden fans on our Facebook page, what's the animal we should do next? And guess who won? Which animal won? Cheetah. 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 And that's a big favorite of ours, too. So the way the cheetah verse goes is cheetah, cheetah, time to run. Ready, steady, three, two, one. Cheetah, cheetah, time to run. Come to Tinker Garden. Now, what are we going to do to move? Run. run. We better run. Are you ready, everybody? My cheetah's ready? Okay, ready? Cheetah, cheetah, time to run. Ready, steady, three, two, one. Cheetah, cheetah, time to run. Come to Tinker Garden. Wonderful. Cheetah is one of the absolute favorites. And next week, we'll have another pull-up. So please let us know which animals and you can imagine any animal or creature that you'd like to have come to Tinker Garden. And we will sing about that next week, same time. Okay, well, we've warmed up our senses, we've sang our song, and now the thing we do at Tinker Garden that we love the most is what? Play! Play! play. That's right, we learn through play. So what we're going to do today is we are going to use our knot of sheets. Would you guys or like to go get cases. or not a pillowcases? So everybody get your not a sheets and not a pillowcases. And we are going to just like when any new play material gets introduced, 
the best idea for any learner is just to take a minute and explore it. And we warmed up our senses so we can use different senses to explore it. How does the pillowcase feel? How does it look? How does it move? And adults, oh. if we give kids just a little chance to work with a new tool or new material before we even suggest something to do, it actually helps them to understand a broader sense of ways they could use it and really helps them warm up for play. So my friends, I'm gonna ask everybody out there just to feel, smell, hold, and look at your sheet while we read a story. Because we love great books at Tinker Garden and we have another story this week that's gonna help us get inspired for creative play. So before we read The Squiggle, which is one of our favorite all-time books, my adults, all of this play, this not a box play, this not a sheet play, is all about building creativity. And creativity is one of our eight skills at Tinker Garden. And it was, it's the skill we spend a whole season on because it is so important for the future of all of our kids. But really it starts with a skill that kids are amazing at. In fact, the kids are better than adults at this skill. Did you know that? Because creativity is about having lots of original ideas and bringing them to life. And it starts with having oodles and oodles of good ideas. And kids are even better than adults at that. They're born great at it. So this play we're gonna do today is gonna help us help kids stay great at that for the long haul, okay? So my friends, what do you guys wanna, do you wanna come up as we're gonna read the book? Yeah. Okay, come up a little closer, because we're gonna read this squiggle, okay? All right, are you ready? You're gonna come right back here, babe. Or you, actually, why don't you sit? Oh, we have to go back, okay. Okay, come on back here. So this book is The Squiggle by Carol Alexa Schaefer, and it's illustrated by Pierre Morgan, and it's beautiful. If you want to, you can see our amazing Sarah Maxwell, leader in Oregon, read this online as well. So the squiggle. My teacher says, time to walk to the park. So as always, off we go in a bunched up, slow, tight, straight line. Now, can everybody see the book really well? Brian, can everybody see the book really well? Great, I want all my friends to see. I grab it. Slither slish, it could be. Does everybody see the squiggle? Mom, what could the squiggle be? <gasps> the dance of a big scaly dragon. Beautiful. Or, <gasps> push a pet, the top of a long great wall. We were just learning about this great wall. Snap, ta-da, maybe it's the path of a circus acrobat. Or, Will, you're acting them out, this is great. Mm -hmm. Crack, crickle, hiss, the sky trail of popping fireworks. <laughs> Tug, kaboom, it might be the poof of a stormy thundercloud. We have lots of clouds here in Amherst, Massachusetts today. Ripple, shh, the circle of a deep, still pool. There are so many things this squiggle could be. Not so far ahead, I see my teacher and my class shuffling along. Wait, I call, look! She's bringing the squiggle. Everyone turns around. I show the dragon, the acrobat, the wall. She shows all of her wonderful things, the fireworks, the cloud, the pool, and even the moon. And everyone is smiling. Hooray, they cheer, and they grab on too. Then off we go to the park in our slither slish, push a pet, snap to da, crick, crickle, hiss, tug, kaboom of a line. And what do you think? Okay. One of our all-time favorites and beautiful illustrations, if you can see it up close. But just like the girl in the squiggle, everybody, we are going to take our nada sheets and imagine so many different things that they could be. So everybody who's been feeling and looking at your pillowcases and your nada sheets, it's time for us to get to play and answer what 
could our nada sheets be? Ivy, what do you think your nada pillowcase could be? My nada pillowcase is a ghost. Yours is a ghost? Mm -hmm. Do you? Oh my goodness. Do you wanna do you wanna play with it like a ghost? Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Maeve could help you. I have my knot a uh, sheet here and I even wove cut some slits in it and put some string in it because mine could be so many things. But today I'm trying to feel super, so I'm gonna wear mine as a cape. Maeve and Will. Oh, here's our ghost! Oh my goodness! Where did Ivy go? She's a ghost. Maeve and Will, what's yours gonna be? Ours is a ghost swing. A ghost swing? I'm a ghost well, that's ready handy because we have a ghost. Ghost, would you like to do some swinging? I'm ready to swing. All right, come swing, little ghost. Do you want to get on the both side and I can help? Oh, you need some help to see, little ghost. <laughs> come this way, my ghost, and sit on down in the swing. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, everybody, we're going to swing our little ghost. Here we go. Woo! There she goes. It's a ghost swing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, nada sheets can become so many things. One of our favorite things in the world are flags. So, if you can cut your nada sheet or your nada pillowcase, you can make beautiful flags. We also have asked grandparents to join in us. And we have grandparents all over the country making flags and using their nada sheets for all kinds of things. And our dear Papa, who we miss with all our heart right now, um, actually had something that he felt like would be perfect for this time, adults, and that is to lay this over and have a basket case. So that's Papa's, <laughs> that's Papa's idea. Um, but we also, have, we also have our favorite, 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 favorite thing to do with sheets in our house. So give us one minute and Maeve and I will be right back. And this you can do outside or inside. Are you ready? Okay. Happy spring, so everybody. Maeve and I are going to put two chairs together. We can use sticks when the ground is soft in Massachusetts, but we have the blessing of snow and cold ground. So we're going to stretch our knotted sheet across two knotted chairs, and we are going <laughs> to and we are going to make ourselves a knot a fort because those not are our not a castle could be not a fox den. Could be not a secret hideaway, whatever we want it to be. And some rubber bands are always helpful, or I never leave home without twine. And my friends are going to get inside our not a castle fort box den. Here we go. And friends out there, we are so so impressed by the Nada Sheet play that's already on our Outdoors All for Facebook group. I want to give shout outs to Emily Enstis for the Elsa Castle and Cape. I got some inspiration from that. Also, Casey Kramer and Krista Hamilton, who both had amazing takes on hammocks inside and outside. So whether you're indoors in an apartment, you're on a homestead, anywhere in between on a mountaintop, you can use a sheet in so many ways for creative play and then hours of independent uh, pretend play to come, which we know adults, we all need, but not just need, we know it's really good for our kids. So, so many skills to build. Look out for a blog post about fort play coming today. Look out for the Outdoors All Four amazing community. Join it. It's free on Facebook and you can find out through our Tinker Garden page or in the comments how to join. Share photos. Share photos in the Outdoors All Four group. Share them using hashtag Tinker Garden and hashtag Outdoors All Four. We will celebrate you on Friday. Every Friday we do a roundup with great, great inspiring pictures. We know this time is such a challenge. I am overwhelmed myself and so is Brian, but this kind of play is sustaining for them and for us. Whatever way you can get outside or bring the outdoors in is sustaining for you and for them. So thank you for being online. Come to tinkergarden.com if you don't already get our emails every Sunday with the DIY activity of the week. Uh, we're gonna have water coming up next week and that was something that you commented on in last week's session. So put in comments things you wanna see playing at home. We, our educators and our experts and our leaders everywhere are here to help you. And thank you for being with us. Go play!